So uh, welcome everyone to uh, Twitter Spaces with Sommelier. Um, this is our special episode uh, that we've been teasing for some time. I'm super happy to, to be able to, to be here. Uh, now joining me uh, today are speakers Zaki and Jack. Uh, this is our usual Wednesday, so um, just confirming that Zaki and Jack, you guys can hear me? You guys can, you uh, Jack chatty? is still a listener in my, on my screen. Yeah, he's a listener in mine. Jack, be a listener? What is this? Is, is... That's not a very Jack-like thing. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, that. that's not normal. <laughs> All right. And Jack is, says, I'm co-host. Yes, Jack, but I think you have to be a speaker. All right. So while we have, we work out some of these, uh, some of these. Uh, yeah, you're a speaker, Janet. Yeah. Okay. Twitter is so funny. All right. Zucky, you're speaking. Or... E? Right. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go. I hear Jack. Go. I can hear Jack. All right. Great. So uh, welcome, everyone. And I think we are good to go. So uh, this is our Twitter space with Sommelier special episode uh, with Jackie, Zucky and Jack. And uh, today is a really uh, special day for Sommelier. We want to say thank you for everyone to the Sommelier community for joining us, uh, whether you're joining us on Telegram, whether you're joining us on Twitter Spaces, thank you for being here. Uh, also want to thank all the Sommelier uh, pairings app users. Um, we know that you've suffered from gas estimation errors and from uh, subgraph issues. Thank you very much for using uh, the Sommelier app. And we hope that you continue to generate Lots of fees um, as we head into the next phase of sommelier. And so, Zucky, Jack, today's a big day. Um, uh, congratulations to the sommelier team uh, on successfully uh, closing and announcing a $23 million. I mean, I don't know if it's a big day. To me, it feels like just any other day. <laughs> it, does it yeah, feel agree, like any no. other day? I'm, I'm sorry. It feels like any other day. You know, there are a bunch of bugs to be fixed. There are, uh, uh, there, there are a bunch of bugs to be fixed. There, is, there are validators to wrangle. There is Cosmos drama. You know, it's just any other day. So. <laughs> I, I hear you. Cosmos without drama? Uh, yeah. Well, well, well. So let's let's talk a little bit more about that because um, it is an, 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 an every other day for us, but for our investors, is a special day for them because they have made a bet on Similier, and we want to talk about that bet. Um, yeah. Zucky, you want to? I mean, w the three of us, we've we've been all in on Similier for right. a year, so right, right, you know, right. So, uh, uh, but we are we are bringing some new we are bringing some new friends into the into the fold on in terms of betting on. Got Simulier. it. Got it. Got it. And I think. As per the press release today, the bet was that automated strategies for portfolio management are a thing, that this is not something that's going to go away. This is something that's just going to continue to grow. And I think, um, you know, congratulations to our other friends in the space um, who have also uh, made, you know, movements such as Gelato, um, also as well as Visor Finance and um, Lixer, many others. They are, we are all helping lift the space for automated uh, DeFi strategies, but Smiley is a bit different. And, you know, Zaki, when you think of, you know, what investors are making a bet on and what we've announced today, you know, would you be able to give us an idea as to what, what you think resonates with folks um, who are sort of supporting the, the familiar approach to automated DeFi strategies? So let's, let's, let's talk about a little bit about like sort of what the core the core bet that Sommelier represents, I think, in the DeFi space, which is a bet that um, that you know what we are what we what we what we imagine is a truly non custodial approach 
to like strategies and a, and a marketplace for uh, new strategies and new data feeds um, that come that are that are sort of come in. Um, and, you know, the idea of building a decentralized protocol around that, you know, the, the vision of Sommelier has always been, you know, we are a, we are the co-processor for the EVM blockchain universe. Um, focused on um, focused on w- allowing ourselves to uh, uh, you know en- enabling the kinds of strategy stuff that you can't natively do uh, in an EVM world uh, to be executed. And so you know this is this is our, our our core our core bet and our core our core mission is to to make the law to like sort of empower strategists and empower seller creators uh, to to sort of really like you know, provide like amazing, uh, 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 amazing results uh, on top of these DeFi pr- pr- uh, primitives that are showing up all over the blockchain space. That's awesome. Um, I think also, you know, Jack, you know, we in, in the line of talking about, you know, uh, you know, having, you know, sort of this trustless or, you know, the, the lack of a need for an intermediary to, to manage the private keys, um, we're really sort of Sommelier is leaning on the validator set. These are the network of computers that run the Sommelier network um, and that will essentially execute these transactions. So what's, you know, when we look from the, today to the next few months, um, you know, what is, what can validators expect? Um, because these folks are the ones who will be tasked to essentially power the network. Um, you know, I think the question they would ask is what can they expect? And, and how can folks maybe participate as validators um, was one of the questions that, you know, we hear a lot of folks asking even today as, as this announcement has happened. Um, you know, do we have, I know we have a particular pro- profile for what a validator, you know, a successful val- similar validator would look like. Um, any thoughts on what the validator network should look like or, or what we should think of when we think of validators on sommelier going forward? Yeah, so, uh, you know, in the immediate term, and I, I, I see a couple of our validators on this call, so hey, folks. Um, and I, I think that, you know, in the short term, what to look forward to is we've got a big upgrade coming to enable sellers. Uh, you know, with this funding announcement, we will be distributing tokens uh, to the, the folks who participated in that. And uh, we're going to be starting up the governance process, which will potentially distribute tokens to a larger set of people, which will enable the validator set to then grow. So I think that those are kind of the big next steps in the growth of Sommelier in in a short piece. And I'm happy to dig into any one of those individually. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think um, one of the things I was going to ask you, and I know, Zaki, you're going to, you can step in any time, was that um, when we think of a successful Sommelier validator, do we have a profile? of what that validator looks like that, you know, folks should be thinking, Hey, you know, this is what, you know, success means as a, you know, similarly validating these are the requirements. Sorry, I missed that. Can you restate that real quick? If I want to be a validator, what do I need to do? <laughs> what should I look yeah, like? Yeah. <laughs> if, if, you, if you want to be a validator, you, you need to have uh, some tokens in the network. And, you know, this is just like any other Cosmos network in that it's permissionless to join the validator set. And I think that that is a, that is a key piece of these types of decentralized networks. Zaki, do you have some thoughts on that? Yeah. What's, I think one of the things that we're trying to aim for here is is validators playing a different role in sommelier than they play in traditional Cosmos networks. Um, in traditional Cosmos networks, there's sort of a, 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 a clearly defined protocol. And basically what the val- job of validators is, is to sort of a little bit, you know, uh, uh, maybe not blindly, but in consensus with the other validators, uh, stay in consensus and follow that protocol. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do with Sommelier is we actually we think validators can move up the, the value chain um, and actually participate in these in this sort of strategy conversation uh, in sort of picking what data feeds actually get manifested and executed on behalf of the seller users um, uh, or sort of inform what gets. Uh, 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 and so. Rather than, you know, this is, this is, I think that this is the reach that Sommelier is going for. This is the bet that like investors are making that we can pull this off um, is that we are, that validators are actually going to be able to sort of navigate 
this world and that we're going to be able to build tools with this, you know, funding that we just raised for validators to sort of navigate this, this space of, Hey, like, Oh, uh, so, you know, we, you know, there's one sort of, we'll, you know, we launch one data feed for Uniswap V3 USDC ETH, uh, uh, pairs and then someone shows up from the community and is like, hey, you know, I have a better strategy here. I have a better data feed. Uh, and, you know, without a governance vote, without an upgrade, without a, a protocol change, the idea of sommelier is that validators could just, you know, sort of vote with where they're pointing their uh, their their uh, orchestrators and say, hey, like the, the data feed for this should now come from, from this one. And once you get the quorum there um, in sort of making a decision that, hey, this is going to be the best result for the seller users and this is going to be the best uh, uh, result for SOM token holders, um, you know, we, we immediately were able to pivot this up. So this, you know, like a big part of what SOM is all about is trying to redefine the scope um, of what validators are, po what's possible, sort of uh, what, what possible participation there is um, from, from validators, um, you know, I think like one of one of the things that like has been like a theme of the year has been like, you know, and was sort of anticipated, you know, maybe last year was the way in which validators are starting to become more active in sort of the MEV world, um, where validators are no longer just like sort of passive participants in, in the DeFi protocols that they're that they're they're running, but they can also sort of extract value. This is sort of flipping that on its head and really asking the validator set to be active participants in the network. Um, but like in a way that creates value for for users across the network um and that that's that's the that's the reach that's the ambition that's the sort of moonshot here uh that sommelier is really trying to drive forward yeah and you know Saki, that's a, that's a much better way of stating it than the way i stated it um we're we, we are <laughs> asking validators you know while it is true that it will be permissionless we are asking a lot more of validators of the sommelier chain than, than other chains do um, they really do need to take a much more active role in network governance and, and participate in that than, uh, than in other chains. And that's a major reason why we started with a small validator set of really experienced folks um, is to establish that social norm early and so that as we add additional folks to the validator set, we can kind of build on that. Uh, you know, one of the things um, folks are asking me today uh, as we, we news of the, the funding round uh, continues to cross is, um, you know, if we are, you know, for example, you know, you know, can Sommelier partner, what are the ranges of partners that, you know, Sommelier uh, would best be a fit at, you know, as we head into sellers and, and to just give everybody context, um, you know, sellers for Sommelier are the, you know, uh, what we would call uh, currently the Solidity Viper contracts that are deployed to mainnet, but managed by the Similia validator set. So the Similia validator set controls and essentially manages movement of liquidity. And so, you know, the questions folks are asking, this is really new, you know, what sort of people should say, hey, I want to partner with Similia and I would like to, you know, create or create strategies for these sellers uh, so that it can work. And, and I think one of the questions, you know, folks are asking is how to, you know, what, what are the visions for, for sellers? And I think it'd be nice to share a little bit more about the sellers that we have currently, some of the inspirations that we're doing on Uniswap V3 um, that might give people a sort of a, again, context and anchor into what are the potential, you know, what is the potential for sellers well beyond Uniswap V3 or wherever they sit in DeFi? Zucky, your thoughts on you know, Uniswap V3 settles. Well, uh, all, what I would actually want to hear is your thoughts on this part. All right. Because you asked the question. <laughs> yeah. It, it, but you, exactly. you've got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> Wait. And you don't want to Are you guys asking? I don't think you want to miss out this Are you, you saying I'm a lawyer? I already, I already know the answer. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> okay. So uh, first off, I, I think what we're saying is if, if you currently um, write Solidity, um, Viper, or any EVM compliant, uh, code to execute DeFi transactions on chain, you have an opportunity to leverage Sommelier and the validator set to execute these transactions um, automatically or with it, with it, with it, with the with the confidence that the validator set will act in your interest. Uh, specifically, when we started um, pairings, uh, one of the things we launched uh, on the pairings app. If you go to app.sommelier.finance, 
Um, that front end is really a front end to Uniswap v3. But that's not interesting. Um, you know, and building a front end to Uniswap v3 is, is you know, what we say relatively trivial. Uh, what has happened in our users building into Uniswap v3 is that they've seen that you know, the liquidity opportunities or where the spot price moves changes and they need somebody to move with them. Now, that's easy because now people are doing that. You know, passive movement of liquidity around the spot price is easy. But the question we have from folks are, you know, what else can I do? Can I build more composable, complex transactions where not only can I move this liquidity, but I can move it elsewhere. I can move it to another AMM, um, such as Aave. I can move it back to Uniswap. And I think if you're coming up with these ideas that um, can be super complex, and we see them already existing in the market um, with examples from other players in the space, having them run on sommelier um, as a seller is a, is a massive opportunity. And I think what we want to see, what I'm telling folks who are you know, maybe asking these questions are, you know, if there is a, a, a strategy that requires a data feed um, and that also requires movement of, uh, or management of liquidity that is big, then you, know, you want to definitely explore sommelier, come to our community, community.sommelier.finance, jump in our ideas channel to be specific, and share some of these thoughts. Um, we think that, and already people are sharing, and again, thanks to the familiar community, we're already seeing folks sharing thoughts on you know, how the community you know, funds can be used, but also maybe ideas on um, various liquidity strategies that have yet to be explored. I think um, what you're going to see with us and Similia coming up is that we're asking folks to come to us. Don't you know, hang back, come to our Telegram, uh, come to our Discord, and tell us or ask us questions about some of these strategies, because I think uh, what this funding round allows us to do is to speed up the deployment, speed up the exploration, um, and speed up the, 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 the actual real life production uh, execution and management of liquidity across you know, all EVM compliant chains. And so we're talking to folks, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're saying, I, I think you know, we're saying to folks, you know, it doesn't matter um, where liquidity lives in, in any EVM compliant chain, uh, you should be able to use some, some sommelier to manage those. And I think that's, that's what we're telling partners. And, and even so, um, you know, thinking outside the box, not just thinking, you know, what's the next AMM, not just thinking Uniswap, um, but really how, how big can this go? Um, NFT space, you know, do you want to manage NFT tokens, you know, leveraging sommelier sellers? Absolutely. Uh, do you want to manage uh, maybe uh, transactions on Serum across their Ethereum bridge for Zinc Sommelier? Absolutely. Um, is IBC an opportunity for Sommelier? Absolutely. Um, and so I would even broaden it to be IBC and EVM compliant chains. The, the Sommelier funding is going to accelerate the deployment of these management, capital management and liquidity management strategies across these chains. You want to be uh, with our sommeliers, you need to be with our sommeliers, you should definitely join. So yes, it's a, it's a very big bet, but uh, we are confident it will be a big win for those folks who are like, hey, I have ideas and um, you know, I know Solidity, I understand how to build DeFi composability, and we want somebody else to run this, uh, we want it to, and we want it to be scalable. Uh, the promise of the validator set is the promise of continuity and execution into perpetuity. Uh, we tell a lot of partners, when you think of the validator set, you sort of think of this as a group of enterprise data centers that will be around forever. Um, and just like the Cosmos Network continues to you know, be a solid testament to Tenement, we want folks to realize that um, the Simulay Network will execute their strategies. Uh, and once a validator drops out, another validator comes in, permissionlessly, these strategies will execute. So bring your composability ideas to us let us support, and we're really going to be active in doing that. Did I did I answer the question? Okay, Jack, it's okay. I think you did, Tariq. You know, you like you, you asked the question like, what are some exciting new sellers? And you know, honestly, I hear way more exciting new seller ideas from you. <laughs> um, and well, there's I'll... just a, a, a tremendous world of people out there we can partner with to bring these oh, things to market. Absolutely. And if you're remotely interested in doing so, please reach out to one of us. We'd love to yeah. talk. Well, I'll, I'll even jump in and say we've been pinged by folks from Substrate. You know, can Substrate work with Sommelier uh, and Sommelier Shells? And we say yes. You know, even if you're on a network that, you know, doesn't seem to be immediately connected to 
um, you know, the, you know, this, this narrative, um, we think immediately that, yes, there are opportunities here. So um, we want the Polkadot family to come partner up with us um, because there's lots of opportunity for both liquidity across the EVM as well as liquidity across IDC, as well as liquidity on Polkadot. We love Avalanche and Emin's team. Uh, we want them to talk to us as well. I think um, as they continue to liquidity mine off of Ethereum, um, we would be able to help you know, those folks move liquidity in a, in a trustless way, an automated way across those bridges as well. Um, as Zaki always said, it's not about the bridge, right? Anybody can make a bridge. Bridges aren't hard anymore. What's hard? Uh, our, 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 the point of our work with the gravity bridge is to sort of commoditize bridges, right? Correct. Um, is is to you know we we have we are we are trying to we are investing in a general purpose bridge design that is going to be used across cosmos um uh and you know we expect to see more and more bridge you know bridges are going to be everywhere um sommelier isn't a bridge uh sommelier isn't if this then that sommelier is a tool for managing liquidity and maximizing user value that's awesome that was great. All right, so we have about five minutes before we wrap up. I don't know, uh, uh, again, any folks from the community who are listening, uh, if you want to ask a question, throw those hands in the air and wave them like you care. Uh, and we'd love to be able to, you know, uh, you know, welcome your questions as well. Um, so also, um, it's a great time to say that Somalia is hiring. Um, we're still getting ramping up. So again, if this space is of interest to you, um, and uh, you think this narrative is very compelling and you have visions as well of how it can continue to have a positive impact in the uh, DeFi space, please reach out to us, join our community, let us know we are um, actively looking for great talent and folks and to also, partner. And also a reminder that we will be in Lisbon. Um, Correct. Thank you, Zaki. All right. Uh, okay. So if you like to party, <laughs> uh, uh, we are going to be in Lisbon tomorrow. Tomorrow is the October 21st as part of uh, uh, ETH Week in Lisbon. Um, we're going to be hosting a boat party. So again, you can see these on our uh, sommelier.finance site on the event section. Uh, that party is uh, VIP, uh, wine and beer. So come join us there. We're also going to be hosting a November 3rd event um, just before Cosmoverse, uh, which we'll be doing live governance. So we're switching over to governance um, and again, nurturing the community to weigh in on, on the sellers and deployment and new strategies of to course for tokens. That'll be on November 3rd. And on November 6th, we have an upcoming event with two other uh, Cosmos SDK chains, Axelar and Agoric. Uh, we'll be hosting Fast Finality, which will be a wrap up to Cosmoverse and uh, kickoff as we head into Solana uh, and the Solana time in Lisbon. So uh, please join us there. Uh, again, check our site for some of these events. Uh, they are going to be awesome, and we'd love to meet folks as we continue to build a community and build a network. All right. Um, let me see. Any other questions? I think one of the questions folks are asking is uh, when token? Um, so the Simile token currently is live. We are mainnet. So this was a mainnet round, um, and the Similia is live. If you want to see how the Similia network is, uh, again, se securing or at least having a certain number of validators uh, working the network, that is six. You could check us out at somscan.io. That's S-O-M-M-S-C-A-N.io. You'll be able to see that. And I think the next phase will be governance. So you'll start to see proposals popping up from the community uh, to move this network forward and possibly deploy the first sellers. Uh, and again, the first sellers uh, will be built off of pairings, um, which was our uh, Uniswap V3 liquidity provider. We'll be automating liquidity provision off of Uniswap P3. And, and again, I think next week we'll also have some talk about uh, Sommelier's data uh, feed. So we have some data science, our data science team will be chatting about uh, how liquidity providers can leverage Sommelier for automated liquidity provisioning and fee collection on Uniswap P3. Something that will be exciting as well. Think, uh, think uh, dynamically changing um, liquidity bands that again are fully executed by the validator set. And you don't have to worry about anybody or any person trying to man manage your funds. You can trust some math. That will be coming up next week. So just a little peek at the events happening. We're very full month of October, um, which should lead us into exciting November and December as well. All right, so I'm checking for hands. All right, not too many hands right now. Um, any final words, Zaki, Jack, before we kick off? 
No, I think we're very excited to sort of do this governance driven sort of ramp up of the network. Um, you know, what we're doing is we're, 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 you know, this is a very key phase of sort of establishing precedent here about how this network will operate. Um, you know, I think that's what this year is going to be about for us is really uh, getting the initial networks, but really establishing precedent for, for how this is going to be decentralized and operate in a decentralized manner. It's always a, it's always a tricky, you know, this, this, this portion of this period of time when you take a network from, it's like, you know, somewhat centralized origin of a small team working on it to sort of a community run project is kind of, you know, the, 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 a tricky piece in it's, it's sort of evolution. Yeah, I to totally agree with that. And the one thing that I would add there is this is a lot of what Zachy and I, well, I mean, I could speak for myself, but I think Zachy would probably agree that we have been working for, for a long time, you know, true decentralization, both at the software and at the organizational level um, to deliver real value to end users. And, and we're really excited to have the funding to uh, really pursue this in a very real way. Agreed. Um, and again, we would not have been here without the Somali community, um, the thousands of people who sit in our Telegram, who are in our Discord, who have tested um, our app that has allowed us to refine the first sellers that are coming up. Who've, some who've made money, um, some who've put money at risk. Um, you know, the community is what makes this happen and the community will what will de drive decentralization for sommelier. So we encourage the community. We have 30% of the uh, minted tokens available for community and available for governance. I think that's the largest uh, assignment for community that we've seen in quite a bit long time. And so what we want to do is get the community to, you know, essentially leverage uh, that resource to continue to launch new sellers um, and new bridges across the entire crypto ecosystem. Um, so that Somalia, you know, really again, continues to add value for liquidity providers and makes what was previously impossible, you know, as easy as, uh, you know, sending your tokens to Somalia, one contract. All right, um, that's it for us today. Thanks everyone for joining and uh, check out our blog, uh, somalia.finance slash blog. We're going to have more updates as we go. Um, we have more announcements coming, and we're going to be deep down working and debugging and getting ready for governance and launches. See you in Lisbon. If you're heading to Lisbon, let us know. We'd love to meet with you one-on-one -on -one, um, as our schedules permit. Thanks so much to everyone. It is a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Zucky, and congratulations to the Somalia team. Uh, year of effort to bring Somalia to life. Thank you, guys.